hello everyone uh, let's look at the following spreadsheet as I'm going to show you how to do an if function using calculations so remember if functions is when you test if a condition is true and also if a condition is false so according to this we are going to check two things here we've got two columns which is amount and shortage so we've got an instruction as you see indicated here it says amount is uh, if the population is 4 million and more the amount is 50 percent of the population otherwise it is 65 percent of the population and the second instruction says shortage if the amount is 2.3 and more okay which means 2.3 million and more subtract 10 percent from the amount otherwise subtract 20 percent from the amount so now let's start and look at amount what happens here is that we are going to test the population if you look at the instruction the first thing says if the population so every time when you see an instruction of if you must see the name of the column in the instruction that you are going to test so let's do it practically I'm going to click and equals to if so my if is to test population okay so I clicked inside population after opening the bracket of an if function so it says b3 because that is where the population comes from so if the population is 4 million and more now you realize there are two things that I'm going to use to test if the condition is true it means I'm going to test if it is that exact amount and more so I have to use equals to and more more meaning greater than sign remember if you are doing an if it's either you are checking if is which is equals to or if it's more or if it's less okay three things equals to less than and greater than sign we use the mathematical operators equals to less than and greater than sign so according to this we are testing if is and more which which means we need the equal sign and the greater than sign so when you put them you need to be careful because you cannot start with an equal sign you have to start with either greater or less but according to the statement here they say and more meaning is greater than sign so we're going to say greater and equals to so meaning that you can't say equals to and greater no because you start with a greater or less than sign so if it's greater and equals to 4 million then what should happen then we are going to put a comma and look at what they want us to do the amount is 50 percent of the population so remember the word of means we multiply so we are going to multiply 50 percent with the population okay so now we are going to say 50 percent multiplied by then we click inside population okay and then if the condition is not true meaning if it is false what should we do so we put a comma so that we can look at the uh, uh, the false part of the if otherwise it is 65 percent of the population then we are going to say 65 percent multiplied by population all right so i close the bracket for the if i press enter then i get the answer so i can autofill for the others right so let's look at the other part of the if which is the second instruction they say if the amount is 20 i mean is 2.3 million and more subtract 10 percent from the amount otherwise subtract 20 percent from the amount so we are also using if now we are going to test if this amount is 2.3 and more so we start with a greater than sign equals to 2.3 million now if it is like that then what should happen 
then what will happen is that we are going to add we are going to subtract 10 percent from the amount so it will be the amount when i click it will say c3 because that is where amount comes from minus so in the bracket i have to determine the 10 percent that i'm going to subtract from so you will say 10 percent of the same amount you click inside so c3 is amount then i close the bracket so if this condition is not true i put a comma what should happen then we are going to subtract 20 percent from the amount so i'm going to say amount minus in the bracket it will be 20 percent 20 percent of amount okay so i close the bracket then i have to close the first bracket that i've opened when i started the if function like this press enter so this is the amount that i get for shortages okay, so when i auto fill i will get the other calculations for other shortages for other provinces so let me show you the formulas so that you see the instruction and also look at the formulas how they appear when i click formula and i go and click show formula so you will see that the two instructions that you were doing were actually calculated using two different types of if this first one is when we had to determine a certain percentage of the population okay so it means we had to test a condition and then if the condition is true we will have to determine the amount by 50 percent otherwise determine the amount by 65 percent so that is simple now going to this one it's a little bit complex because we are going to subtract a percentage from the amount the amount that we have we subtract a certain percentage so we don't have that 10 percent anywhere on our spreadsheet we had to determine it within our calculation the same as 20 percent okay so that is how you do your if function using calculations thank you for watching this part two enjoy mm -hmm.